You might have seen my WGU video on my other channel, or maybe you haven't, but there's a lot of controversy happening right now surrounding the video that I made about WGU. And it's really just all because of the title. Most people did not actually watch the video. The title was WGU Cybersecurity Degree is Useless, but they didn't watch the video. And I kind of want to just break down what that's about and why I have two different channels, because I don't think people even realize that I have two separate channels now. So basically, anytime I would make videos in the past talking about how tech professionals, people who already work in tech can move up in their career, how they can make more money in their career, skills that they need, resume advice, LinkedIn advice, any type of advice that was for tech professionals already working. I would get all types of crazy comments on this page. I'd get comments like, how does this help me? I have no tech experience. Hey, this does not apply to me. I'm still trying to get my foot in the door in tech. So I decided to make a completely different channel called Simone B rank up in tech. And so that channel is not for people who aren't working in tech yet, even though a lot of people are going to still see those videos and just assume that I'm just talking about people not working in tech. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So if you do already work in tech, definitely go subscribe to my other channel. That's a great channel for you to learn a lot of information on how you can move up in your tech career. And I have a completely free GovTech course for GovTech professionals on that channel as well. Now, with all of the controversy around this W WGU cybersecurity degree video, I'm going to fully break down my framework on how I believe that you should actually use WGU and how you can use it to excel in your career, even if you have no experience. And I'll probably drop in some nuggets about how you can utilize WGU if you have experience and what it's actually good for. If you haven't grabbed your ticket yet for GovTechCon 2025, now is the time to do it. We have a virtual aspect to the conference where you can attend virtually, you can submit your resume resume and your resume will be seen by recruiters and the ticket is 50% off for the virtual tickets. Use code YT50 to take 50% off your virtual ticket and grab a $50 ticket today. If you want to learn more about the conference, visit www.govtechcon.com. Links in the description to buy your ticket. If you aren't already familiar with my six-figure GovTech career framework, this is actually what it is. So here's a tweet that I pulled up. I've been using this framework for ever now. And this is what I actually teach to people. So step one, get your security plus and get a role that will sponsor you for a clearance. Step two, get hands-on experience, shadow your colleagues and get one to two more tech certifications that your company will pay for. Step three, job hop to a higher paying role that will upgrade your clearance and job hop every 12 to 18 months. As a bonus, let the company pay for your WGU degree. Now I'm not going to go too deep into the framework in this video, but if you all comment below and let me know if you want me to go into my six-figure career framework just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video for you all to really use WGU to excel in your career I personally do not believe that WGU is a school that you go to if you have no experience yet it's much better for you to go to WGU after you already landed a role and the reason being is because especially with the cybersecurity degree it is full of a bunch of certifications and what a lot of people don't know is that if you go out and already get a couple of the certifications that are required in the degree, they will count that as your credit towards your degree. So why go through the process and start going through your WGU degree and you have not even gotten a job yet? You can literally go and get the Security Plus certification, the CYSA Plus certification, and there's also a requirement for the A Plus as well for some people that need it for the WGU degree, which can slow down your process exponentially. So if you have to go and you decide, hey, I'm going to go straight into WGU and go straight for this bachelor's in cybersecurity and you don't have a job yet, you're going to be spending a lot of time working on these certifications. I've seen people take up to 12 months just getting the A+, Security+, in the CYSA+, certification. And at that same time, while you're at WGU, a lot of people aren't getting internships while they're working at the school. Now, my belief in what I've seen that has worked best, I went to college for computer computer science and I have a lot of different friends that are successful after going to college as well. The best way for you to do college is for you to get internships the entire time. So if you're an adult and you're looking to transition in your career and you don't get your first job in tech until after you finish your WGU degree, according to WGU, I believe it takes on average people 24 to 36 months to get their degree. And if you end up waiting until after you get your degree, that means it's going to take you another 
two or three years just to start working. The big mistake that I see people make with WGU who don't have any experience is they start going to the school and they don't get any internships while you're in school. Now, I went to college and a lot of people seem to forget that, but I went to school for computer science. I have a bachelor's in computer science. While in school, I had a different internship every single year and I graduated with seven different job offers and I was able to literally just have my pick at whatever federal government agency I wanted to work at or whatever government contractor company I wanted to work at. So I definitely know what I'm talking about when it comes to best practices on getting a job from going to school for a degree. So you really have to ask yourself, are you trying to start working in your career as soon as possible? Or are you looking to go to WGU and then get a job after you finish working at WGU? Now, don't get me wrong. This doesn't mean that you can't get internships while working at WGU. I just see a lot of people not doing this. I see a lot of people just waiting until after they graduate and then they struggle to find a job because they still don't have any tech experience. When this entire time, you could have been working in your career in maybe like a help desk job or IT support job or maybe even data center technician job. I've seen some people go straight into networking jobs as well. And you can start working these different jobs just by getting one or two certifications, the Security Plus and maybe the CCNA as well. And you can start working. And the nice thing about working at these companies is good companies will pay for your degree. So that's how you can also get your degree for free by going and getting a job first in your career and then letting the companies pay for it. I'm a big believer in having companies pay for your degrees and certifications. And I don't believe that you need to go out there and try to get as many certifications as possible. On top of that, paying for degrees out of your own pocket as well. And this is just my opinion and what I've seen with people who have attended WGU. I see it all the time on TikTok. I see it all the time all over social media, people struggling to find jobs at the end. So I just want people to just see a different approach of how you can utilize WGU. And a big thing that I haven't even really touched on yet is that when it comes to colleges, you have to realize that all colleges aren't created equal. There are some colleges that you can have on your resume that when a recruiter sees it, they automatically get excited. So for example, I went to VCU, which is Virginia Commonwealth University. When I was in school, no recruiter was excited to see VCU on a resume. They didn't even know what it was at the time until we went to the final four. But I had friends that went to UVA in Virginia Tech and anytime recruiters saw their resumes, they literally would get excited. They would get a lot more opportunities just because of the name of the school. Now, WGU is a school that companies do recognize that the government even recognizes, but it's not going to get any recruiter excited. So you have to just understand that, that some degrees are really just to get that check mark and say, hey, I have a bachelor's, right? Especially with WGU being pretty much all certifications. You do not have instructors. You do not have anybody teaching you the information. You don't have labs or anything like that. You're getting certifications and the degree at the same time. So I think that's where WGU really shines. You want to get your degree and certification at the same time? Great. Go to WGU. That's a great idea. It works well. But there are better ways and faster ways for you to make that transition into your career and save you money at the same time. And I also want to note that I'm one of the few creators on YouTube that has not been paid by any university. I turn down universities all of the time because I want to be able to say my own opinion and how I feel about these programs. So that makes me different from a lot of these other creators. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about the opinions that I've had. I've never taken any type of money for sponsorship on any of my YouTube channels. So just keep that in mind when you're viewing my videos that these are all my opinions and my opinions only. And this is what I've done to excel in my career. And this is also the framework that people that have learned from me have applied to their career. And most of them are making six figures as well. So this video was really to clear everything up about what happened with WGU and people being upset about the video title. I really do find it funny. You got to watch videos to actually hear the information and hear what people are saying about it. It got a lot of thumbs downs too, and it's fine, right? I put these videos out because I want to put out my opinion, my thoughts in what actually works in the job market today. And if you want to hear my thoughts on how WGU is good for tech professionals already working in tech, just go watch the other video. The link will be in the description below. And that wraps up this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos for me. I'll see y'all in the next one.